Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So I've got a pretty good path outline going that I used with the pen tool around Mr. Kazama, but it's definitely not finished. When you first use the pen tool to create a mask, the path is made into straight angles. Since human beings don't have a single straight angle about them, you need to take the image and make your path curved. To do this, you need to use the pen tool along with the selection tools. We'll start with Zero's face. So luckily for me, Zero's cheekbone and features are generally very easy to contour. Very smooth edges, nothing really jagged. Take the pen tool and put the cursor over one of the points until you see a minus sign. Click and get rid of the point. Then in the same area of the path, click again. You see the same point only now it will have brackets on either side. Hold Control for the PC or Command for the Mac and click and drag the point. Notice that it is now a curved point. Experiment with these to create complex curves and shapes. The goal is to contour these points perfectly around his body and his sword. The brackets also have a specific purpose. As you move them, they contour around the curves to create different effects. These brackets are best to use around sudden changes in angle, like where his cheek meets his collar. So let's give it a try. Go ahead and remove the point, then add another. Let's move it. Let's move it back to where it was. And notice that the line is not contouring around it anymore. So we're going to grab one of the brackets. We're going to turn it, and we're going to try and get the cheek as best as we can. So the cheek's pretty good, but the collar is not. So we're going to grab the other bracket and we're going to drag inward. We're going to actually make the bracket smaller so it'll fit. And there you go. It still has a little bit of a curve, but it contours to his face and to the collar perfectly. Using this around curves as complicated as a hand is essential to creating a perfect mask. The closer your mask gets to contouring around the subject, the better they will fit into the picture. So in the next video, I'm going to show you some basic techniques on adding and subtracting to a completed mask.